हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियरिंग एजुकेशन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल थैंक यू हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियरिंग एजुकेशन इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एग्जांपल 4.3 फ्रॉम चैप्टर नंबर फोर of applied thermodynamics by T D Stop and Mikaki. Uh, in this example, we have the statement that air at 15 degree centigrade and 1.05 bar occupies 0.02 cubic meter. The air is heated at constant volume until the pressure is 4.2 bar. and then cooled at constant pressure back to the original temperature calculate the net heat flow to or from the air and the net entropy change sketch the process on ts diagram so if we look the statement we have given the initial temperature uh, which is t1 and it is 15 degree centigrade so as you know that uh, we will convert this to kelvin 15 plus 273 it will become 288 kelvin similarly the initial pressure is p1 and it is 1.05 bar so if we replace bar by pascal so we can write it like this 1.05 into 10 to the power 5 pascal similarly the volume is 0.02 so v1 is equal to 0.02 cubic meter then the air is heated at constant volume uh, we have uh, noted that value and then cooled at constant pressure back to the original temperature so if we look to the ts diagram of this problem so this is the temperature in kelvin and this is the entropy specific entropy so from 1 to 2 it is heating at constant volume and the volume is 0.02 cubic meter here we have v1 equals to v2 so we can write it like this v1 is equal to 0.02 cubic meter and it is further equal to v2 and from 2 to 3 it is cooled at constant pressure so the pressure is now 4.2 bar and it is cooled at this line 2.3 the pressure remains same or constant on this line so again we achieve the same temperature from here we started that is 288 kelvin so t1 is equal to t3 r t3 is equal to t1 we have to calculate the net heat flow so this was the given data basically and we have to find what required things are first the net heat flow to or from the air so the difference or the net heat flow from 1 to 2 and then from 2 to 3 we will find it second we have to find the net entropy change that is what is the net entropy change between 1 and 3 states and also we have to sketch the process on ts diagram so this is an example it is already drawn over here the ts diagram and it's very easy 
as it is temperature and specific entropy diagram so the constant volume line seems like this drawn from 1 to 2 and the constant pressure line seems on the TS diagram like this from 2 to 3 so now to start the solution first we are going to find the mass of the air so in this case we will use the perfect gas equation and it is PV is equal to MRT so if we rearrange this expression we will get M is equal to PV by RP uh, and here we have P1 which is 1.05 bar converted to Pascal we will multiply it in the score of 5 and the volume will be 0.02 cubic meter Similarly, the value of R which is the particular R specific gas constant for air, its value is 0.287 kJ per kilogram per kilogram. So, we will replace the kilo by 10 to the power 3 and the temperature T1 is 288 kilo. So, when we simplify this, we get the mass of the air which is 0.0254 kilogram. Now further we are interested to find the value of T2. So for that using the concept of constant volume that is V1 is equal to V2. For this we can write the perfect gas equation like this P1 v1 is equal to m r t1 similarly for state 2 we can write p2 v2 is equal to m r t2 so in this case we say that v1 and v2 are same so further it will become v1 is equal to m r t1 by p1 and here we, we can write it for V2, it will become MR T2 by P2. So as V1 is equal to V2, so we can write it like this, MR T1 over P1 will be equal to MR T2 by P2. So MR is constant in both cases. So this expression is generated P1 by P1 is equal to T2 by P2. So if we rearrange this expression, we can write it like this P1 by T1 is equal to P2 by T2. And now we are interested to find the value of T2. So for that, we can write it like this, rearranging this for T2. So P2 is the pressure at point 2 and its value is 4.2 bar. Similarly, T1 is 288 and T1 is 1.05 bar. So these values are in bar. So there is no need to convert it to Pascal because they will cancel the effect of each other. So temperature T2 comes out 1152 Kelvin. Now we can easily find the heat from 1 to 2. That is the heat supplied from 1 to 2. So for that we can write the equation Q is equal to M C V into T2 minus T1. Because we have a constant volume process, for that we will write the specific heat capacity at constant volume. So M is known and calculated in the very beginning and it is 0 0.0254. And the value of C V is also given in the start of the problem and it is taken for air is 0 0.718 kJ per kilogram per kilogram. The temperature T2 value is 1152 as calculated above and T1 is 288. So if we simplify this, we get the heat supplied during isochoric or constant volume process and that is 15.75 kJ. Now to find the heat rejected at constant pressure 
for that we can write the expression q is equal to mcp t3 minus t2 so in this case cp value is for air 1.005 kilojoule per kilogram per kilowatt this is the specific heat capacity and constant volume for air t3 is equal to t1 so the value of t3 is 288 kilowatt and t2 is 1152 so putting all the values in this expression the heat rejected from 2 to 3 state is minus 22.005 kilojoule we see that from 1 to 2 it is positive and from 2 to 3 it is negative it shows that from 1 to 2 we supply heat to the system and from 2 to 3 we can predict according to thermodynamics conventions that the heat is rejected in this case similarly the same case may be repeated for the work done if the work done is positive we can say that we are providing work to the system if the work is negative it means that we are getting work from the system so the net heat flow will be the summation of these two heats and that is q from 1 to 2 plus q from 2 to 3 so the values are 15.75 kilojoule and it is minus 22.05 kilojoule so the difference of these two values is minus 6.3 kilojoule so we can write it in other words that the heat rejected is basically 6.3 kilojoule or the net heat rejected is 6.3 kilojoule similarly to find the change in entropy uh, between the two states that is 3 and 1 for that using the expression s1 minus s3 is equal to s2 minus s3 minus s2 minus s1 so if we simplify this we get s1 minus s3 we have split it this in two parts so to find these changes in entropy for both cases for constant volume as as well as for constant pressure process so it is also mentioned in this textbook and in the text of this book that we have the change in specific entropy that is m s2 minus s3 is equal to integral of dq by t and dq is further equal to mcp dt in case of constant pressure process so if we replace dq by mcp dt so we can write this expression like this and the integral from 2 double a to 1152 mcp dt equal t now here we know that the value of m is 0 0.0254 kilogram and the value of cp is 1.005 kilojoule per kilogram per kilowatt and when we apply the integral it becomes natural log of t2 by t1 in this case are it is for constant pressure process so in constant pressure process we know that the process is from 2 to 3 so in this case this is t2 and this is t3 so when we simplify this we get the difference of entropies are the decrease in entropy which is 0, 0.0 354 kilojoule per kilowatt now to find the entropy change for the constant volume process again repeating the same step but the process is different that is constant volume or isochoric process for that we have again the same equation the same expression and it is m into s2 minus s1 is equal to integral from 
2881152. In this case, this is T1 and this is T2 because the constant volume process is from 1 to 2. So, replacing DQ by NCV DT. Actually, the general expression for specific entropy, if I I am writing this for uh, only one specific entropy, so I can write it like this, S is equal to, for the difference of uh, specific entropy, so it will become uh, equal to uh, integral dq over t. So this is the general uh, expression. Now we can specify the values. Okay, what will be the value of temperature uh, and here these values are mentioned and the states are also mentioned the, in this case d is is further equal to s2 minus s1 that is the change in specific entropy so dq is mcv dt over t now applying the integral we get M is constant, its value is 0 0.0254 kg and the value of CV is further equal to 0 0.718 kJ per kg per kW and the natural log of T2 by T1. So T2 is 1152 and T1 is 288. So when we simplify this, the variation or the change in specific entropy comes out 0 0.0253 kJ per kg per kilowatt. Here it is uh, mistyped the value. It is basically 0 0.0253 kJ per kilowatt. Because uh, if we look to the expression, here we have the unit of kilogram and here we have the unit of kJ per kilogram per kilowatt. So kilogram and this kilogram will cancel with each other and only kJ per kilowatt will remain here so uh, we have here if we look to this ratio so these have same units they will be uh, cancelled with each other so simply it becomes kJ per kilo just like uh, the previous uh, case and it is the um, change in specific entropy uh, and it is calculated like kJ per kilo so now to find the net uh, change in uh, entropy that is uh, m s1 minus uh, s3 is equal to uh, so putting the values uh, that is um, the difference of these two quantities which is 0 0.0354 and uh, 0 0.0253 kilojoule per kilowatt so it comes out 0 0.0101 kilojoule per kilowatt so the decrease in entropy of air is 0. 0.0101 kilojoule per kilo per kilo and uh, it is also clear from the um, plot of temperature and specific entropy so if we look to the plot of this example so here initially we have some uh, specific uh, uh, entropy value at state 1 and then uh, during heating from 1 to 2 at constant volume the specific entropy increases while cooling from 2 to 3 at constant pressure again from 2 to 3 we have uh, noticed that the specific entropy value decreases so at this state we have less value so the overall decrease in the or the net entropy decrease is basically 0 0.0101 so in this problem three things were required first if we summarize this problem first we have found the net heat flow and after that we found the net entropy change and the plot is already discussed and it is the required TS diagram so this was all about example 4.3